you've ever thought about 3D printing a guitar, you can see I've got lots of guitars. Only one of them up there is 3D printed. I have two others. I ran into some issues with those, so I'm gonna tell you all the parts that I used, how this guitar was made, how I downloaded a design that someone else had made, remixed it with a couple key changes for the parts that I had and also for some structural integrity and how it turned out as this final piece. Starting from top to bottom, those are Grover tuners at the top. There are some string trees that look like little skulls and those are 3D printed out of carbon fiber filament. This neck looks like a reverse headstock, which I guess it is. It's a left-handed neck set up for right-handed. I flipped the nut so the heavy strings are on the left. It is a fully coated neck with steel frets. And I gotta be honest, don't buy this neck. I'll link to a different neck that is similar, but hopefully set up better. The pickups are from Music Lily. They are the chrome covered version of their Alnico 5 humbuckers. This is a carbon fiber printed surround on each of these. It's PLACF is what they call it from Elegoo. Same thing, all the black is PLACF. This is just a cover. There are electronics under both of these. Wiring and switches under both of these covers. There are similar covers on the back. These knobs have little skulls and crossbones on them. They are also that PLACF. Down here is the output jack. That's a standard guitar output jack. This is a standard two-point tremolo system from Osval, something like that, with a brass block on the back. The top is made of a gold colored PLA silk. PLA silk is not necessarily the most structurally sound, you know, it's not super stiff, it's a little bit more pliable. It's made to look awesome, not to have great engineering qualities. So you'll see that the first little over a third of the body from the bottom up is PLA Pro, a much more structurally sound PLA version. This is the Daddario really nice it's a leather strap with quick connect strap locks on the end i really like that this is a placf carbon fiber strap button it's got a metal screw through it so i wasn't too worried about using the polymer strap buttons Let's flip it over and look at the back you can see those grover tuners again and the neck this reinforcement plate and the screws that hold the neck on were off of uh, Amazon. Here we can finally see the big secret, all right? There are three 12 millimeter carbon fiber rods inside this guitar, one on each side, and then there's one that goes between these screws. I changed the design. It used to be where you could slide the rod in and it would go all the way down to right about there, I think, when I installed a tremolo bridge, which meant I needed the claw where the screws go up in here to hold this in and to tighten it, I needed three springs. I needed room for this big block. There is a tremolo arm. There's a cutout for that in here. Here is the switch for the pickups. So that puts it on the neck pickup. Middle is both pickups. Down is just the bridge pickup. Here are those carbon fiber PLA printed covers in the bottom. I will link to the original design, the remix that I used. At some point, I need to update the design. You can see I had to cut some plastic off of here to make it work. When I get this completely updated, I'll upload that remix file and share it with the world as well because it originally was made for a fixed bridge, so it had none of this cavity. Because I added that cavity, I couldn't do the carbon fiber rod that came all the way down but we really need a rod that goes the full length down to where the bridge connects in order to give stiffness in the body because the strings are pulling really hard. There is a lot of tension on a steel string guitar trying to fold the whole thing up in half. So to resist that, we have these two carbon fiber rods. This one starts just as high up as it'll go without sticking out the top. So it starts right up here and goes as low as it will go into this cavity down here and then this one stops right before the tremolo arm 
and goes all the way up as high as it will go. So between those three rods, we've added a lot of stiffness. Please let me know what questions you have, any comments, thoughts. How do you think it looks? I really enjoy the way it sounds. I should do a playing demo pretty soon. I have two other 3D printed guitars. The other two, because the bodies aren't reinforced, well, one of them has a single carbon fiber rod. And if I leave it under string tension for a few days, the body and neck kind of start to bow in a little, not that much, but uh, enough that it affects tuning. The other one has no reinforcement. The other two were printed in pieces and then put together. I used a CA glue, like a super glue, a cyanoacrylate. I think I should have used a different type that vulcanizes and melts it together instead of a CA glue. But this one, the entire thing was printed in one piece. That is literally why I bought the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max was because the bed is just barely big enough at 420 by 420 to print this. It was such a nightmare. You should go watch our videos on that to get this done. Oh no! Oh, son of a bitch. Well, if you called one and a half layers in, then you win. That I'm actually thinking about selling that printer. I have an Elegu Centauri Carbon that's much smaller but uh, the print quality is better and it is super easy to use. So you can see the ripples in the side, even though it was a successful print, and I think it looks pretty good from the top. Um, it's not nearly as good as I was hoping for, for an overall print quality from an aesthetic standpoint, but functionally, I am thrilled that I changed the profile of this where your armrest is to make it a little easier on you when you play. I added the reinforcement rods and I also added this belly cut to make it more comfortable where it sits up against the body. And adding the tremolo are the big changes that I made to this design. So again, let me know what questions you have.